Um, so I think we're going to be able to wrap up in the next 20 minutes. Um, and I want to, you know, there are three things that I want to do um, before, before we close and let you, you know, some of you get to your evenings and some of you get to your afternoons and some of us get to our mornings. Um, I want to, I want to go back and revisit some of the common points that we heard during our breakout discussion this morning on the 3.0 framework and the user experience showcases. And then I want to just highlight what's on the schedule for tomorrow in case um, you, can't, you can't remember or you're wondering what's, what we're going to talk about tomorrow. And then finally, we are going to have our after action review so that we can make tomorrow even better than it was today and keep some of the great things about today going tomorrow. So I'm just gonna share my screen um, once again, and let's take a look at our Metro Retro Board. Um, I'm gonna put the link to the Metro Retro Board too in the chat in case you want to actively go to the board. And we asked ourselves this morning in our breakout rooms, what problems will the OpenMRS 3.0 framework um, solve for your implementation? What problems won't be solved? And then what support do you think implementers will need in order to adopt the 3.0 framework? So I kind of pooled all the problems that were that people said were solved here um, together. And you know, like I mentioned briefly earlier, um, a couple of them said, hey, we're gonna be sharing, 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 sharing content and a common platform. Um, and people are hopeful that we'll share features more easily again across the, com the community. Um, I also want to highlight that this mention of standard and well-designed um, immunization forms, um, information. Um, I do think that all the sharing that's happening on the design side is kind of going to point to more standard and um, designs that people can reuse, which is pretty exciting. Um, and then highlighting here, I think it was Burke who suggested that we're actually seeing a converging vision, converging vision for app functionality. Um, and the other point to, to call out that I think even um, Christine in your lightning talk you raised is that it's nice to see QA embracing the front end community. So those are some of the problems that people are already seeing or the 3.0 framework is, is going to be solving for us. Let's move on to what problems are not yet solved. Um, and it seems like we've got a range of ideas here from point of care to batch visit. Um, and um, this is a big scope um, and it's not just the UI, there's the API layer, how things are brought together, those common modules. Um, another problem that's not solved is having a standard clinical workflow that can be applied across multiple clinics. Um, and then um, I someone in group three, I think, brought up the fact that the extension framework um, might have some potential problems with lots of extensions that comes with, potentially comes with performance issues. So having an opti optimization of an extension manager would be great. Um, and then um, I wanna you know, highlight this, this one sticky here around adequate information on what it would be like to migrate. Um, and I wanna highlight that because when we go to support needed, I was really surprised to see how many um, common themes came out, including around migration, um, data migration, how to, you know, different strategies for living in a 2.x vis-a-vis a 3.0 world. How can we make migration graceful um, for users? Um, do we have end of support for 2.x? How, you know, how do we, how do we handle migration? Um, and this is a great, uh, uh, I've already heard conversations these, these questions being raised. So I hope tomorrow we'll have some time to dive into this during our implementer um, experience showcase. Um, also here, sharing information and experience information. So it seems like the more opportunities we can have and create to share information and experience that will help with support. But then I also wanna highlight all of these great points up at the very top around from good documentation, the need for good documentation to you know, having step-by-step -step guides, competency-based hands-on tutorials, lots of talks about online tutorials, um, a boot camp, and maybe having an OpenMRS Academy for 3.0. Um, 
to having more experienced paid mentors or programmers and growing expertise beyond Java, get, getting more front end expertise in the community. So some great themes here too, um, that also kind of echo some of the conversations I've heard. So, so hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to um, delve into some of these themes and start to kind of think about how we might solve some of these problems. Um, other questions that came up more, people want to know more about offline. Uh, what about Bomni? You know, are there, will there be any changes there for 3.0? Uh, the need to brand or and the need for clarity on UX flexibility, um, what things and how we use carbon are flexible or not, and, and what can we do change to reduce the feel of the UX change for existing users. Um, it's, I think that, that, that there are a lot of fantastic points that came out of the breakout sessions. I don't know if anybody who, were, who was in any of the rooms wants to um, highlight any any specific comments or questions that came up. So I just want to you know open it up for anybody to to highlight anything that struck you in particular during those those discussions. You can speak up or you can raise your hand. Either way. Okay, well, I started out today by saying, you know, we do these meetings because, um, and we do them often because this is the space for us to share um, what we're working on from ideas to work in progress to even final um, released products. And, and highlighting that it's the feedback that we get during these conversations that actually lead to greater in innovation um, and help us improve what what we've perhaps started or what we were thinking about making it even better. So I think there's real value in in highlighting not only the problems that we've solved, but the questions that we all want to answer and the problems we want to address moving forward. So let's take a look at tomorrow's schedule and see, you know, maybe there's some time and space and opportunities to start delving into some of these these questions tomorrow in our in our schedule. Um, so we're starting again at 12 noon UTC um, with a brief introduction to the day, including some recognition. We'll be telling you who, who advanced in their dev stages to, um, and what is happening with our OpenMRS fellows. And then we have a plenary session on meaningful engagement and collaborative pra practices. So if you want to find out more about squads and teams and how it all works to balance autonomy and alignment in our community, that's the session for you. And then we're going to have um, a professional development experience showcase. So how are we bolstering community and country technical capacity? Um, we'll hear about um, what the documentation team and the OpenMRS Academy squad is doing. And we also have some open implementer showcases that might start dipping a toe into some of those questions around 3.0 um, tutorials and such. So that's a good session to, to, to start sharing ideas um, around those problems. Um, we'll have another breakout session and um, where we can have some smaller discussions. And then we're going to have a special lightning talk round focusing on mobile and offline solutions. So if you have um, a mobile or offline solution that you want to share with the community and you haven't signed up for a lightning talk, reach out to Christine, um, our lightning talk guru, and she can, she can fit you into that lightning talk round. Um, and then we will move on and have our implementer experience showcase. And that's where you can hear and see a little bit more about what the QA support team is, is doing. Grace and Christine both gave great um, overviews of the QA support team and their efforts. This, this showcase will get a little bit more into automation and, and what the actual nitty gritties are. Um, we'll also have an, a showcase from the PM team and we will hear from a couple of implementers. And two, we have do have a couple of open implementer showcase slots open for you to sign up for. Um, please reach out to Christine and myself to schedule them. And then we'll, you know, we'll do an after action review and, and close 
close for this this July mini meeting for the community. So that's what's up, what's up for tomorrow. Um, and now, um, in the interest of making tomorrow even better than today, I'd love to hear from everybody through our mentee meter. Um, what what do you think happened today? What were you excited about? Um, what really sparked your interest? What happened today? So just you can either click directly on the Menti um, Menti meter link in the chat, or you can go to Menti www.menti.com and use the code two seven nine one five three zero to go onto the the Menti meter and just tell us what what happened today. We've been here for a few hours to together, what happened? Great demo session. Someone jumped, joined late, jumped in when the breakout sessions were running and they only had one room to jump into. Okay. Learned about great open MRS work activities that I wasn't able to follow. Yeah, this is a great place and time to catch up on everything that's going on. You know, there's so much going on. We know that one, one person can't be in all the different spaces at once. So this is the time when we try to come up to speed. Great presentations. The 3.0 framework happened today. Yep, 3.0. Learned about the a Jemby who's doing an amazing job. Congratulations. Awesome insights into what's happening all around. Yep. What else happened today? The presentation about involving women from, from Ellen, fantastic. Yep. Examples of how 3.0 could be applied to real production systems. Yeah, wow, that was wow. I don't think we've seen that before, so it was fantastic to, to see what that would actually look like. Great presentation, QA lightning talk rocked my day. We had another great presentation on product management. Great progress in the community around 3.0. Yeah. The quiz, yes, it might seem like a, a while ago now, but we had a fantastic quiz about 3.0 framework. Yeah. yeah, demo sessions, presentations. Someone still has the quiz music in their head. Somebody missed the breakout session and they're check, they'll check in with video later. Yeah, just, to, just so everybody knows, we will make the recordings available. Um, you can, you'll be able to find them um, in our, as links on our schedule. So we'll try to get those, going, those up as soon as we can. Sometimes it does take a little while to process the, the recording. Fantastic. Well, let's move on and talk about what we want to see happen tomorrow. I'm pretty sure you can use the same, yep, you can stay right where you are. Um, or if you haven't signed into the Menti meter yet, you can use that, that same link in the chat or use the same code on the screen. What do you want us to keep doing tomorrow? What should we keep on doing? Music. Yeah. Especially in the morning, it gets everybody going. Have more demos. Yep, we're gonna have more demos. More lightning talks, more showcases. And I already have somebody who's signed up for an implementer's showcase. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, we want facilitated discussion with clear topics and questions to cover. Okay, breaks, yeah, breaks. We try to schedule them and sometimes the conversation is so enticing we forget to take our breaks, but they're really important. What else do we want to keep doing tomorrow?
somebody wants another quiz, we can see if, how to make that happen. Maybe that can fall under professional development, right? We'll have to look at, we'll have to look at that. Okay, well, I'll keep breakout sessions, lightning talks, presentations. Yep, we're gonna do more of that tomorrow. Um, I'll keep this up for a little while in case people want to continue putting in their ideas. Um, but I think this has been a fantastic day. You know, I know it's also July. It's the time when people are taking vacation or spending time with their families, which is fantastic. I just want to say thank you to everybody who who chose to join us today. Um, having you here with us, it's it's a, one of the highlights of my weeks, my months, my year, um, and it's it's great to to see everybody um, interested in following what we're doing, and hope to see you again here tomorrow. So thank you and keep the, keep the good feedback coming. We'll make tomorrow an even more exciting day if we can. <laughs>